Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, this morning has broke out to be an incredibly nice day. And I mean the sun is beating down. All the solar panels are starting to get into full sun right now. And this looks like a great day to split some hairs. <laughs> uh, the plate is full. But I kind of needed this day like this to, to get some things diagnosed. And this is a little unusual. I mean, normally I get a lot of cloud cover, but today looks like it's going to really open up and pound some sunshine. Been reading all your comments on some possible solutions to that inverter malfunctioning on that previous video. And Howard says that he had the same problem three weeks ago on his do-it-yourself battery pack, and he used some resistors to balance the pack. And he hasn't had the problem since. And Steven says it's definitely an inverter issue. Should have never dropped below the battery voltage. And our good friend Robert said that he downloaded the manual for that inverter, and 61.2 volts is over-voltage shut down, which... Uh, we definitely weren't getting it that high and it was shutting down. So, might be an inverter problem as well. So, I've been getting all kinds of great comments from you guys. And there's a lot that I want to try. And like Sylvan said, here, am I seeing any voltage spikes in the Victron history? And if not, it seems like an inverter problem. And I haven't seen any crazy spikes in the Victron log. So, yeah... All your comments have been really helpful in pointing me in the right direction. And I really do appreciate all of your comments because they give me a good map of things to try out. So uh, Matt gave a really nice long comment and he says 95% chance it's a balancing issue with the battery and lowering the charge target will only make it worse because one cell is over volting and the charge controller probably won't begin balancing at that low voltage. So the cells just get more and more out of balance. And I have, as I showed you guys in that last video, I've been lowering that charge target uh, throughout the past couple of weeks to get it to keep running. So now I've got an idea what to do. And then Matt continues to elaborate and he says, use the charge target of 56.8 volts and hold it there for a few hours, charge target 56.8 volts, turn off the tail current, set the absorption time to two hours. This all kind of rings true to me, and I'm gonna give this a whirl, and we're gonna see if we can't get that inverter to start working right, assuming that my battery pack is out of balance. So yeah, I just got tons and tons of great comments and lots of things to try. Um, as I, you can just see, I mean, I just got all of you chiming in here with great suggestions. And quite a few of you have experienced the same thing. So uh, we'll go first things first, and let's try and balance that battery. So the first thing I did yesterday was come in here, turn this inverter off, unplug the refrigerator, and plug the refrigerator into my backup 24-volt system which I always have this ready uh, and full for a backup situation, and it's gonna work out great for this test. So this was 100% full, and overnight, this is where we're at this morning, it took it down to, uh, you know, 70 some percentile, and it's charging now, so it's running the refrigerator nice, and we're gonna let, let this take care of that for a few days while we run that 48 volt battery through some balancing. And I'll show you what we did on that is we'll go to the Victron app for the 48 volt battery, which is this Power Queen 51.2 volt 90 amp hour lithium iron phosphate. And what I did is per Matt's suggestion, which the lithium iron phosphate preset on here, what, has the same parameters that he was suggesting. So we go to battery and you can see I've got it set to the smart lithium iron phosphate. And then if we go to the expert mode here, press okay, 
<clears throat> we can see we do have our target now at 56.8 for absorption and float voltage at 54 volts. And then he also suggested that we turned uh, the tail current off. And where is that? Right there is the tail current. And we have disabled that. Okay, so, and, and then it quickly, I'll show you on the history, it quickly went up to a full charge yesterday. Had great sunshine. It was a full battery, basically. But we did get up, and we did, you know, catch a 57.23. That's probably right when it was switching over uh, into absorption or float. I don't know exactly when that, but anyway. And then it just held it at uh, 56.8 rock steady for the two hours of absorption. And then it stayed into float for five hours and 48 minutes and it did hold the absorption for two hours. So we're going to do that for a few days. And the other thing that Matt suggested, which I didn't do last night <clears throat> was during this test is maybe drain this battery down to 90% and then let it go through the full absorption and into float the next day, which it easily will with the 700 Watts of solar I've got tied into there. But last night I didn't do that. And tonight I'm going to start doing that. I will plug the refrigerator back in from the other unit and drain off about 10%, which if I leave this all tied up overnight running my refrigerator, uh, we're not going to be getting up into that higher voltage, which was making that act up. Just do it to drain off, get it down to that 90th percentile, which is just about what it'll be by running that refrigerator overnight. And then I'll unplug it and put it back on the 24 volt system and let this go through another charging cycle. And that's what we're going to do for a few days and, and see what happens with this battery. If those cells uh, were out of balance and we're just going to balance them over the next few days. So that's the, that's what the test is going to look like. And then looking right now, I mean, I'm already in float today, which is day two of this experiment, and you can see only two watts coming in to hold it at 54 volts in float. And it did get into, if we look at the history today, oh, that's mighty small down there, but let's see what we can see. You can see that I did get into the bulk absorption phase for two hours already. And then and now it's just in float. So that's what's happening right here. Just letting this just sit there completely full all day long tonight will drain off 10%. And we'll do that for a while, a few days. And Matt also suggested we could, you know, let that hang out in uh, absorption. You know, I could program the, the app here on my uh, tablet to hang out there a little bit longer but for the first few days i'll just let it do uh, on the preset with the victron we'll just let it do its two hours of absorption and then just hang out and float the rest of the day and we're going to just keep doing that and see how it works and then in a few days we'll come back and see if this can handle that regular cycle without shutting off and beeping alarms and all of that kind of stuff and if that doesn't work, we'll try some of your other suggestions. But I'm, I'm hoping, because I haven't taken this up to that 56.8 in quite some time because that inverter kept acting up, that that's what I've got is a, a balancing issue in that battery. And I hope that we get that resolved by doing this. So we will find out. Um, I'm pretty confident that that's going to work. That seems to ring true. And then, you know, maybe that inverter is okay. We'll see. And if it is, then we'll know that my battery was out of balance. So it'll take a few days to get this resolved, but I'm gonna show you what happens. It's all an experiment, right? And uh, this will be kind of fun. I'm, I'm pretty confident that this might work. And I trust all of you guys, and I will keep trying what you suggest because that's how we all learn. And I don't have quite the sunshine going today that I did yesterday. But I don't need that much. Everything's doing fine. 
everything's pretty full. And I got the backup system deployed for this experiment. So keep all those great comments coming in, guys, because uh, it really does help when we're all pitched in together and helping each other out and figuring this stuff out. Because, uh, yeah, these things do happen. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to try and find out and get a solution. All right, catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody.